प्रोजेक्ट फोर एनिमेशन एंड गेम्स क्वेश्चन आंसर फ्रॉम क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट वोकेशनल एजुकेशन बुक कौशल बोर्ड पेज एटी फोर क्वेश्चन वन वाई डू वी प्ले गेम्स आंसर वी प्ले गेम्स टू हैव फन स्टे एक्टिव एंड लर्न न्यू थिंग्स पेज एट्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन टू विच इज योर फेवरेट गेम आंसर माई फेवरेट गेम इज लूडो क्वेश्चन थ्री वट डू यू लाइक इन योर फेवरेट गेम आंसर आई लाइक दैट इट इज फन कलरफुल एंड वी कैन प्ले इट विद फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स क्वेश्चन फोर हाउ मैनी मेंबर्स कैन प्ले इन योर फेवरेट गेम आंसर टू टू फोर मेंबर्स कैन प्ले लूडो क्वेश्चन फाइव वट रूल्स आर टू बी फॉलोड इन योर फेवरेट गेम आंसर वी नीड टू रोल द डाइस मूव द टोकन एंड ट्राई टू रीच होम सेफली विदाउट गेटिंग कॉट क्वेश्चन सिक्स Is there anything else interesting about your favorite game? Answer: Yes, it's exciting because we never know who will win in the end. Draw a sketch or paste a photograph of the model of a game in the space given below. So, friends, you have to do this yourself. Page eighty-seven. First, do all the games have rules? Answer: Yes. Second, did they all have characters such as cartoons, Mickey Mouse, etc.? Answer: Yes. Third, did the characters interact with each other in all the games? Answer: Yes. Fourth, was there a color background in all the games? Answer: Yes. Fifth, was there music in the games? Answer: Yes. Sixth, did you find any game interesting and challenging? If yes, why? If not, how could it be made more interesting and challenging? Answer: I liked the maze game. because it had tricky paths it could be even better with more levels and characters page 89 first did you face any difficulty in creating your account on scratch yes no if yes how was it solved answer yes i didn't get the email so my teacher helped me check the spam folder i clicked the link and it worked page 89 question 1 were you able to select and import sprite answer yes second were you able to use the inbuilt sprite or did you use some image from the internet or a photo you had taken or did you use both answer i used both scratch sprite and one photo from my computer page 90 question 3 did you attempt creating your own sprite by drawing answer yes fourth were you able to change the costumes of the chosen sprite Answer yes. Fifth, were you able to identify and import objects? Answer yes. Sixth, were you able to identify and use appropriate backdrops from the chosen sprite? Answer yes. Page ninety-two, question one. Were you able to use a combination of motion and looks blocks to animate your sprite? Answer yes. Second, were you able to animate sprite using control and events blocks? Answer yes. Third, were you able to include music in your animated block? Answer yes. Fourth, were you able to select multiple sprite? Answer yes. Fifth, were you able to change their costume? Answer yes. Page ninety two, question one. Were you able to import and use your friend's picture as a sprite? Answer yes. Second. Were you able to use a combination of motion, looks, control, and events blocks to create an animated birthday message using your friend's sprite? Answer: Yes. Third, were you able to use your friend's favorite songs as background music for the animated card? Answer: Yes. Page ninety-three, question four. Were you able to save the card and share it with your friends? Answer: Yes. Fifth. Did you face any challenges in designing this animated birthday card? If yes, how did you resolve them? Answer: Yes. Problem: Background image was not fitting. Solution: Resized it and tried a different image. Question six: Did you try creating something else using Scratch? Answer: Yes. I tried making a dancing cartoon. Page ninety-five. Present the game idea to your peers. Did you receive any suggestions? Yes or no? If yes, how did you use them? Answer: Yes. One friend told me to add more sound effects. 
I added background music and sounds when the character jumps. Page 95, question 1. Write a script for the game you designed in activity 5 using inbuilt blocks such as motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, etc. and control structures that include loops and conditional statements. Answer My game Treasure Hunt Adventure First events block When green flag is clicked Second looks block Say Let's start the game for 2 seconds Third motion block Move 10 steps If touching the wall turn 15 degrees Go to random position Fourth control block Repeat forever if key right arrow pressed, move 10 steps. If key left arrow pressed, move minus 10 steps. Fifth, sensing block. If touching, treasure, broadcast, you win. Sixth, sound block. Play treasure sound when treasure is found. Seventh, variables block. Set score to zero. Change score by one every time a coin is collected. Eighth, operators block. If score greater than 5, go to next level. Page 96, question 2. Prepare a logo with the name of your game and paste the photograph of the same in the space given below. So friends, you have to do this yourself. Third, were you able to do the following? A. Setting the stage. Choose or create a backdrop for the game stage by importing image. Answer yes. Next, design or import sprite. Answer yes. Next, design or import object, answer yes. B, code your sprite. Use a combination of motion and looks blocks to program the movements of your sprite, answer yes. Next, experiment with different code blocks to control movements, interactions, animations and game logic, answer yes. C, implement game mechanics. Define the rules of game using control blocks, answer yes. Next, use conditional if else statements, loops, variables, and sensing blocks to create interactive gameplay elements. Answer yes. Page 97. Use event blocks to trigger actions in response to specific events. Answer yes. Next, enhance the gaming experience by adding background music using sound effects. Answer yes. Four. Did you face any challenges in designing the game? If yes, how did you resolve them? Answer Yes, it was hard to make the character jump correctly. I solved it by watching a tutorial video. Page 97 third, are there any issues or bugs that need to be removed for smooth working? Answer Yes, some objects were not moving properly. I fixed it by checking the code again. Page 97 Question 1 What is the name of your game? Answer Jumping Cat Adventure. Question 2 What are the different components of the game? Answer A cat, flying birds, background, music, score counter. Page 98. Question 3 What are the rules of the game or instructions to play? Answer Use arrow keys to move the cat, avoid birds, collect stars to earn points. Page 98. Question 1 Did you watch any tutorials or observe? How others coded their projects? Answer yes. Question 2. Did you work on any project with classmates? What did you learn from them? Answer yes. Learned how to add effects. Question 3. Did you ask for help or advice from your teacher or peers? What was the most helpful piece of advice you received? Answer yes. Teacher helped with coding blocks. Page 99. Question 4. What new techniques or blocks did you discover with the help of peers? Answer, yes. I learned about using variables for score. Question 5. Did learning from others inspire any new ideas or features in your projects? Answer, yes. I added more colors and music. Question 6. Have you had the opportunity to reach or help others with scratch? What did you teach them? And how did it help you reinforce your own understanding? Answer Yes. I showed my friend how to import a sprite. Page 101. Think and answer. Question 1. What did you enjoy doing? Answer. I enjoyed making my own game and adding music. Question 2. 
what were the challenges you faced answer importing images and setting their size properly question 3 what will you do differently next time answer plan the game on paper first before starting question 4 compare online and offline games state three things you like about each answer online games can play alone or with others colorful and musical can play any time offline games need people to play simple fun with friends good for physical health question 5 what jobs are related to the project look around speak to people and write your answer a few examples of jobs related to the activities you just did are programmer software developer game developer or 3d animator answer so friends answer is already given in the question game developer 3d animator programmer and software developer friends we have completed all the question answers from project 4 animation and games if you like the video kindly like it and share it with your friends you can support me with channel membership and super thanks we will meet in the next video thank you for watching